Hello, welcome to part one of my speedrunning tutorial series on door tricks. This episode will cover episodes one through three. For our first door trick, we have episode one, floor five. It's a fairly simple door trick with all you have to do is open this, leave the SS down here, and wait in this corner. If he feels like opening it, he will walk against it and open it. The chance of him opening it is about 50-50, there's no way to get it consistently. Our next door trick is E1M6. It requires you to move fairly quickly, but is fairly consistent also. So, what you want to do is open this door on your left, and then immediately run to that door and fire a shot. You stand in this corner and wait for the sound key. that, you run out. I was a little, I missed the first sound cue, but he would, he opened this door, and then you can leave. So how it works is the guard starts about right under this light here, and by running into that room over there with the dog food in it, his pathing is mapped to come down here instead of around and through this door. So he opens this door, and then you can just walk right in. For our final door trick in episode 1, we have E1M7. It requires you to move somewhat quickly. So you open this door, and run to this corner. His pathing will move there, and you wait in this corner. By standing in that hallway, he will try to follow you by going through this door. And then you can run to the end. His pathing is somewhat determined by his wake-up time. If he wakes up too quickly, he'll move away from the door and make the trick take much longer than if he wakes up and follows you into the corner you ran to. Alright, this is E2M8, the only door trick in Episode 2, and it is fairly consistent if done correctly. So, as soon as you open this door, fire a shot, and run to this alcove. Stand next to this portrait. The guard will open this door, and you can run and grab the yellow key. This happens almost every single time. I don't think I've had a single occurrence where it hasn't worked, and then you can just get right to the end. And that concludes it for episode two. For our first trick in episode three, we have E3M3, probably the easiest door trick in the game to perform. All you need to do is go here, enter this door on your right, and fire a shot. The officer is not deaf to your shots on the other side, and he will gladly walk over the door and open it for you. For our final door trick in episode 3, we have E3M4. Probably the most complex trick we've talked about so far. What you want to do is immediately run to the right and open this door and fire a shot. Kill these enemies. A good sound cue is to wait for the second door to close, and then you should just have barely enough time to get in here. And you can just run to the end. Sometimes the officer doesn't exactly feel like following the path that would lead him to opening the door, but it happens, I'd say, more often than not. This concludes part one on the guide to door tricks. Next part, we'll cover all of the nocturnal missions. Thanks for watching.